Hello there. In this video, we're going to take a look at the note editor. So um, what I'm going to do is just uh, right click over here and I'm going to go to two panes stack. Actually, um, let's do two panes side by side. And I'll make this one my perspective view. And dodge the outliner. I'm going to make this one my node editor. There we go. So we're going to look at the node editor and we're going to add a multiply divide node um, to make our uh, joints twist. Okay, so in the node editor, <clears throat> you can click here, uh, that'll expand the, men the menus, we can choose uh, utility nodes. And uh, we'll, we'll use our, these utilities, and I'm going to add a multiply divide node. Okay, you just click on that, or you can also hit tab and just type in name of the node you want, and then you can see it here, add one there as well. Uh, you can zoom in and pan around just like any other window. And uh, just like any other node, it's a good idea to rename it. So I'll call this um, joint twist underscore MD. All right, and uh, so I'm going to pin this. <clears throat> and there's actually a hotkey for, for pin. Um, I went through a, made a uh, wacky script to make some buttons, but all you got to do is hit P, and it'll toggle pin off and on. But uh, fun exercise when you learn scripting, though, no, anyway. Okay, so I'm going to need to uh, start off with uh, adding this joint, so add selected. That one as well. So what I'll do is I'll move these aside, and I'm going to put my twist joint just uh, in the center here. Move these out of the way for now. And we can come in and select the nodes. We can hit one, two, three, or four to uh, open up the connections. And we'll do that with these menus here, the stack menus, also here. So what I'm going to do is take uh, the rotate Y, and I'm going to put that on input 1x. It's going to create a unit conversion node that you can just ignore. And I'm going to put the output of 1x into the Rotate X of the shoulder twist. All 
Okay, so with our multiply divide node, um, the best way to really view what's happening is to go to the attribute editor. That's control A or this icon right here. And so I've got an incoming connection um, on input one. Now you can think of these columns as slots. You can think of them as X, Y, and Z, or you can think of them as R, G, B, or really whatever you want. So I'm just going to use the first slot, and I've got the rotation. The yellow means that there's an incoming connection, and I'm going to multiply it by 0.25. Okay. And that's then connected into uh, this one. So if we go to our channel box, and if we rotate um, in X, then we'll want to see um, a rotation um, on this guy. Oh, and he's got keyframes on him, so uh, let's delete those. This one will as well. Oh, and I've got the wrong uh, value here. I want to rotate X. So we'll put that one, one X. And I can just uh, delete this one here for Y. Okay. So now as I rotate, the idea is to slow down uh, this joint. And so I'm scaling it or multiplying it by 0.25. But actually the opposite is happening of what I'd like to see. So it's actually um, going in a faster rate. So if this one is 40 degrees, then this one we can see, well, this was uh, net, yeah, this was 40. And this one was 10. we would actually want to do is multiply that by a negative 0.25. Okay, so then as I rotate this, now this joint should be rotating more slowly. Um, now the reason why these numbers are different is because this is already inheriting the rotation of the first joint. Okay, so here's this joint. Uh, again, this top joint is weighted to the lower arm and smaller uh, hanging or twist joint is uh, weighted to the shoulder right here. As we twist, we're slowing down the rotation of this part. And let's do the same thing. Let's wire up uh, these guys. So if I rotate that, I'm going to want to slow down the rotation of this. Or actually, um, it's going to happen as, as I rotate this guy. It's going to affect that one. Let me put this back at zero. Okay, let's pin those, pin that, 
pin that. Let's expand them. And for the rotate X on this one, I can use the um, use the input Y. And for the output Y, the rotate X. So now I've now got this uh, single multiply divide node. Um, multiple, and I can put the same number in here. So the way this will work is as I rotate this in X, that's going to go along for the right, except um, now this one um, I'm going to make it Point two five because this one, um, this one here is not a child of this, so it's just a straightforward multiplication. As you can see as a hand rotates an X, uh, the upper arm is rotating just slightly. So if we rotate and any other axes, uh, nothing changes, only when you rotate it in X. So uh, those are utility nodes in Maya. And just starting off with the multiply divide. And in the next video, I will have, uh, we'll go through um, a few more of the multiply divide nodes, how they, or pardon me, utility nodes and how they work. So again, the way to think of these is um, you could multiply or divide or do a power. You've got your first term and your second term. Uh, input one is the input from the shoulder. Input two is input from the hand. And they're both controlling the twist joints. I'm using the same node with just different uh, values here. So you can think of these as inputs, and these as like user-defined values that we're multiplying by. So it's very handy. <laughs>